Yo, what's going on? This is your boy Tambo Travel, and I'm back for another video. Okay, so what do I got for you today? Today, I have traveled from uh, Katuba to... We're traveling. <laughs> well, we've traveled from Katuba to 22 miles. All right, so we just wanna see like, what kind of a place is 22 miles? You know, if you wanna take a snippet of 22 miles, this is 22 miles, okay? It's a settlement. This is the latest settlement along the Great North Road. You see what I'm saying? This is all you get in 22 miles. <laughs> I know a lot of people want to know like, hey, apart from 15 miles, what else can we settle? Well, this is 22 miles. If you want a farm, this is a place to be. All right. <laughs> okay guys so here at 22 miles okay can you see that this Procha hotel okay about three kilometers from here all right and there's a safari road okay and of course other Okay, if you want to book a brochure hotel, this is the number over here. Okay, you can see that. If you want to book a hotel, that's the number. Okay. Right over there, seems there's some kind of a, a factory. Okay, I don't know if you can see. All over there, seems there's some kind of a, a factory. Okay. So, when you check out this road over here, can you see this road? This road is going down to Procha Hotel. That's where the Safari Lodge is. Okay. So, I'm going to walk a little bit because I've seen some gentlemen over there. I just want to ask them a few questions. Okay. So that I just get to know this place. Okay. So uh, there is a something that looks like a taxi rank. Okay, can you see there? Yeah, that's a it's a taxi rank. Okay. Let me just ask a few questions. How are you, sir? I'm okay. I'm just making a video for YouTube. Yes. So can I ask you a few questions? <laughs> it's uh if you have uh, internet just search for tambo travel that's my youtube channel yes i just expose zambia to the world because i want as many people as possible to know that this place is not what no 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 but when, no, 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 when we have go, people coming here from other countries there's a lot of bad things about that when you watch youtube you'll be able to watch what they say which is not good so I said, no, let me film Zambia because I'm a Zambian so that people can know the truth. Eh? Yeah. So this place, uh, it's uh, 22 miles, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Has it got another name? Is it just 22 miles? 
Oh, okay, okay. So now, uh, I want to know, this place, it looks like every, everywhere it's farms. Is this a farm area? Uh, yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me just point the camera to the other side. So. <laughs> oh. Okay, YouTube. I'm right here in 22 miles of uh, Lusaka, Zambia. And I'm here with some brothers. Can you see there? Okay. So these brothers, they are residents of 22 miles. All right. I'm just going to ask them a few questions. Okay. Uh, my brother here, uh, what is your name? No, my name is Roy, aka Celebuam Procha. <laughs> ah, okay. You sound very musical. Do you make music? Ah, uh, no, 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 I don't. Okay, okay, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So tell us about uh, 22 miles. Is it a farming area? Mm, like part, yeah, part of 22 miles they do farm and then uh, part of it again. No, it's just being developed to a town now. Okay. Yeah. I have seen a poster showing that there is a lodge and a, a hotel, Procha Hotel. How far away is it from here? Uh, from here to the hotel is about 7k, 7 kilometers. Okay. So, and how much do you charge by taxi to go there? Um, it's 150 booking from here to the hotel. Okay. Yeah. So if you stop over, if you stop off at the uh, roadside of 22 miles, you just need to have a 150 and they can take you to the hotel. 150 will reach you to the hotel, yeah. Okay, so which is 300, reaching someone and bringing him back? Yeah, taking you there and then when you're done with your busy and then... Okay. That's 300 you need to have. Okay. Is there a game park there at Procha Hotel? Yeah, and there is. Okay. Wild animals, yeah, a game park. How many types of animals can you say they have there? Zebra, giraffe, impara, and then uh, lions, what else? Mm, he lions, yeah. They are even lions? Yeah, they are even lions, yeah. Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah. But uh, do you, are you given a game scout to escort you in the game park? Yes, uh, a game scout is given. Okay. Yeah, to uh, a game scout is given to, to go around with the game to, to go around with him in the game park so you will be directed by the same game scout. Okay. That that is very interesting. So um this place uh twenty two miles, how do you go into town? How do we go into town? You just uh hitchhike yeah. or you use uh, the minibuses? Yeah, you sometimes about the buses. Yeah, we mainly we use buses. And how much do they charge you from here to town? From here to town is twenty kwacha. It's twenty kwacha from twenty two miles from to town. From twenty two miles to town, it's just a twenty kwacha. Okay, if we convert that in US dollars, it's about one point three dollars somewhere, one dollar thirty cents somewhere there. Okay, for one way. All right. In Zambia, that's a lot of money. That's expensive. Okay. Okay, so uh, so how safe it is when you go and view animals at the game park? Is it okay somebody will come there uh, without being eaten by the lion? Ah no, it's very safe because <laughs> you <laughs> you move around with the car. And there is uh, a Range Rover which uh, is given for 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 the game viewers with the scout going around the game. Park. So okay. it's very safe. About how many minutes does it take to go around the game park? It's an hour. I've given an hour to go around the game park. Even if you're alone? Mm. Uh, yeah, even if you're alone, you're given an hour. You, you pay the game during a month and then you're taken around the game park. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, so YouTube viewers, if you want me to go in the game park next time, please just comment down below. Okay? Okay. So it's been a pleasure talking to you, my friend. Uh, what was your name again? <laughs> Roy, aka Celebo Amprocha. Okay, he's Roy, aka Celebo Amprocha. Okay, when you just drop off at 22 miles, he is running uh, his taxi. You're running your taxi, right? Exactly. Yes. So he can take you over down to Procha Hotel. All right. So you guys, I'm now moving over to Chisamba. Okay. 
at least uh, I've shown you a bit of uh, 22 miles. In fact, I have one more question. People say there's a lot of plots here for building. How true is it? <laughs> ah, lot of plots for building. Yes, mm. for sale, for building. How true is that? <laughs> oh, yeah, so, so, so for those people who are far away, maybe in the copper belt, who want to know the cost of a plot here, how much is the cost of a plot? Mm. Uh, not, very, not very much sure. Okay, not, according to what you can estimate, how much can be the cost? Five, five pin, five pin, sorry for five pin. Right? From 5,000 yeah. going? So somewhat with a... Depending with how big the land is. Ah, okay. What about those who want to come and rent houses here? How much is the rental fees? Mm, the rental fees, I think... Uh, again, that depends with the house and then... Uh, yeah, it just depends with the how, how big the house is. Okay, like a two-bedroom or a one-bedroom? Self-contained. How much can it be? Self-contained two bedroom. I think uh, should start about uh, a pin, one one pin going. Yeah. Okay. One, one, one thousand going now. So a two bedroom flat for uh, with um, which is self-contained. He says it's about one thousand kwacha going up. Okay. So at least he's given you an idea. What about basic accommodation? Someone who is maybe a student living here. How much do they? Uh, get charged for accommodation. For a student, yes. I think it should be the same price. Yeah, about the same price. Yeah, one thousand. Is is there any trade school here? Is there any college? A college is still under construction. No, not yet open. Not yet completed. Like building, the still building place. Oh, okay. medical school, which is still under construction. Yeah. Oh, a medical school. Sure. Okay, that's wonderful. Yeah. So, it's been a pleasure talking to you, okay? Sure. I really appreciate it. All right, sure. Ah, uh, okay, all right. <laughs> so, what I would...
Alright guys, so I'm in uh, Chisamba Okay This is Chisamba Can you see that? Can you see that? This is Chisamba It's a farming block <laughs> Alright The moment you live uh, 15 miles All you see is farming blocks All the way up to up to Chiwombo then the nearest town is Kawe alright so there is a there is a traffic checkpoint okay that's why you see so many cars uh, stopping over alright so as you can see can you see can you see over there cornfields okay because it's a it's a farming block so you see a lot of cornfields okay and uh, basically that's basically it so if you're looking for a farm in Zambia I think the place to be is Chisamba okay all right so let me just uh, show a little bit of uh, this huge huge farm over here okay It is a farming block, man. Everywhere, man, you see cornfields and you know, crazy irrigation equipment and stuff like that. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, let me just show you this other farm right behind. Let me use the front camera. Some crazy cornfields. Okay, I don't know whether it's a uh, sunflower or whatever that is there. I'm not really familiar with the type of products they're growing. So this is basically it. This is all there is in Samba. All right. So uh, I'm hungry. I want to eat some food. Okay. So let me just go. There's a takeaway. Can you see the takeaway right over there? Okay. Right over there. Okay, there's a takeaway. So I wanna go eat something. Alright. So so that's the takeaway, right? You can see that? Alright. That's where you eat uh, you buy food from. And it's the only place where you can buy food here anyway. There's no other place. Okay. So guys, uh I'm I'm gonna end this video right here. If you ain't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And the bell notification so that you get informed each time i upload a new video all right so please like this video and subscribe till you next time ciao okay guys so i'm on the bus going back to osaka and i've been given a fee of 20 kwacha okay so uh as I was, you know, looking on the bus, I met this gentleman over here, okay? He also is going to Osaka, however, he has run short of uh, money. So I said, well, let's just uh, get on this bus together, I'll pay for you. And myself, I'm dropping off at, uh, I'm not going exactly inside Osaka. So I'm dropping off near Osaka, then he's proceeding to Osaka, okay? Yeah, so uh, I just want to ask you something. Uh, do you know anything about YouTube? No. Have you ever heard of YouTube? No. It's the first time you're hearing about it? Yes. Okay. You speak good English. Were you going to school before? Yes. But now, what is the problem? Why aren't you going to school now? I'm about to school. 
your parents don't have money. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to hear. So I'll pray for you and uh, you proceed to Saka while well, I drop off just uh, at the beginning of the Saka. Okay? So you guys, you like uh, and subscribe. Okay? And uh, hit that bell notification so that each time I upload a new video, you get informed. Okay guys, see you.